first wanted to take a moment to thank Robert Solman Associates and Transsolar FEMA Engineering for establishing this year's fellowship grants. I'm greatly appreciative and hello to receive the Rural Compression Fellowship and to experience this moment of learning through their generosity. My project begins as the question. It is easy to hold the earth in your hands, but how do you walk in the sky? This proposal assists states of consciousness, specifically reflection and duality. I began with a series of collage paintings looking at the potential relationships between land and sky. It is a moment when place, sky, building, occupant, and horizon all bend as one in a joint consciousness. I just have to, to say that Allison doesn't have an arch architecture background. She came directly from painting. But I think that's what this is about, that, that we're, we're about the, the, the fusion of the arts, painting, sculpture, poetry, architecture, landscape, ecology, all these things coming together in our T-Space fellowship every year. Well, I'm just amazed at how she became an architect in, in three weeks. Well, Stephen, <laughs> really fascinating. Um, wow. <laughs> totally fascinating. This project is about transformation of consciousness through juxtaposition and rhythm. My influences were networks, log booms from Hudson Valley's local history, and Anthony Braxton, a composer who made visual diagrams as titles for his compositions. The project also tries to answer the question of how do you create nature in a room, and how do you create a room in nature? You're trying to connect up the two, the two notions of the experimental music and this, this photograph. And I that if you're interested in this, that's going to lead you to some some aspect of challenging architecture. The way it's drawn and presented, which is unorthodox vis-a-vis -vis the usual student Zoom jury you see, all of that I stipulate. What we're going to do with this studio is try to come up with what is the idea that drives the design. The project title, Searching for the Sublime, begins to take into consideration the fact that a journey from one place to another and the equivalency of its place could have a significance in the transformation of consciousness. The subtraction and addition that happens within the site is an homage to the glacial erratic that happens to the Hudson Valley, or has happened over millions of years, where the glacial rocks have been displaced over time and that creates its unique identity. As you move through this journey, you come to a place where it's no longer compressed, it's very much an expansion. I think it's a gorgeous project. You're showing a whole series of opportunities and I love the surprise at the end of inhabiting this rock. You're expecting a world to, in, to unfold in front of you every second. And if something does not meet that expectation, you are going to have a transformation of consciousness. The idea I focus on is the weaving of the arts in circ circulation. The discipline of art has no boundaries. One cannot clearly define what makes a painting, a sculpture, music, and etc. They all weave together. If you read the sequence of those images, right, it, it, the, the character of the space changes over time. So to me, your project would require a certain kind of patience. The title of my project came from this draft of T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland. In the, in the poem, um, there's a scene that has all these like visceral elements to it. So there's like, there's this rain and there's this empty chapel and there's uh, birds and there's a flash of lightning. Essentially the, the, the meandering structure forks into three different paths. Like the light shadows that they casted were these like kaleidoscopic markings of time and thinking about time in not in a mechanical or linear way, but as a more like haptic way. And I, I don't think Stephen, you should be apologetic for the title Transformation of Consciousness, because I can see in the project, but that was a reaction. And I think uh, we are in a certain state now, you know, as we know, it's a paradigm shift that's happening overnight. I like the, this project here. Uh, and the first project in that they both had this sort of semi-irrational approach and maybe that's also why it's difficult to judge it. But, uh, we are sort of uh, somewhat conflicted in our education and our ways of discussing architecture that, that is very rational and we want to sort of judge everything. So even when we talk about the musical references, you know, we need to see proven 
And I think uh, I like the first part in particular because it kind of allowed uh, something that was more sort of disorganized in a sense. There was a more a different type of human experience that wasn't completely explained. Rex Roth is a great poet and he has wonderful quotes. It's against the ruin of the world, there is only one defense, the creative 